Okay, Fonny, Matthew here with FreePrescriptionLenses.com. What's that? I need that little thing. Take two, scene six, take 50. I have got a half-made pair of Ray-Ban 4165 Justins. I remarkably have two right lenses. You know, sure, you can buy a right and a left lens, but be the first on your block to wear two right lenses. You'll be, you know, you'll be a trendsetter. I can take that right lens and stuck it here on this side. Does that look okay? You might be able to see out of that. Let me just tuck it in right there. Yeah, that looks good. Hey, good enough for government work, right? <laughs> okay, so let's take get rid of that right lens. I can't mess up now because I'm only tracing the left lens. I'm glad this $30,000 machine is smarter than me. I am tracing your left lens here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed with quality and everyone loves it when you get it right the first time too. So again, take two. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to pull up the shape of your computer onto the computer and remarkably that will be the shape of your left lens. I have to enter your frame PD. Look, I got two PD sticks in my pocket. I'm going blue tonight. I'm going to be a wild man. Wild man. So I got a 70 PD. Is that right? 55 and 16? That's where they're claiming it. But I'm measuring 70, so I'm going with 70. 70 it is. I'm going to put your pupillary distance of 66. And this is the polycarbonate lens being cut for a plastic frame. And yes, that is the left lens. I see the L this time. I am paying attention. Trust me, that was embarrassing. I've even gotten comments on the video on YouTube. What is the world coming to? I never claimed I could walk on water, but I will build you a bridge to get you across that water. So put the axis wheel at minus at 10, the power drum at minus one, because your prescription is minus one, minus 50 at 10. Put this in to find the item. Let me zero this out. No mistakes, no mistakes. Make sure I'm dead on. So, put the power drum at minus one. Check your astigmatism. We are good there. Put some dots on your lenses, which I can barely see. Let me put some more ink in my lensometer. This thing's just drinking some ink. Drinking it. What is going on? So, I think that was too much. Let me get a tissue. Get up some of that moisture. Don't worry, that's not blood. That is red ink. Trust me, you'll know when it's blood. I'll be screaming like a little girl. No offense to the little girls out there who are way more macho than I am. Okay. Now we got some dots on there. Now we cooking with gas. Or peanut oil. Or dung. Some people like to cook with dung. Not around here, but it may catch on. Who knows? Alright. You saw this. I'm putting the stickers on your lenses. Pull that away. Get everything lined up. And I forget the sizing, so I'll just start all over and hit start. PD of 66, polycarbonate lens, been cut soft cycle, plastic, left lens. I'm just double checking everything, which I did not do before. And that's my problem. This is the left and the right button. And I hit, this starts me all over, wipes the slate clean. And that's what happened last time. I've never done that before. I hit that button instead of that one. Come on, $30,000 machine. You guys need some type of barrier where you can't hit that thing. So... Calipers are tracing the lenses, the cutting wheel down here on the bottom left, blah, 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 blah. You've seen all this stuff before. <laughs> so, I keep looking over to make sure that is left. Man, I'm just panicking, panicking. That was embarrassing. Went home and told my wife about it when I got home. Man, I was in a bad mood all night. All right, that is cutting. Of course, we got your clear lenses are in here. Both your clear lenses. In fact, let's take the left one out. Again, show you how to put them in. Tuck them in at the outside corner. Using your thumbs, press down at the nose, it snaps in. Take them out, put your thumb at the nose, your other thumb on top and push, out it comes. And of course, again, some people like putting it at the nose first and then pushing down it right here. Whatever works for you. Some people, instead of pushing down at the nose, like to pull up on the top of the frame and the bottom of the frame to get the lens out. Whatever technique works for you, works for me. As long as I cut these right, that's all I care about tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. Be honest with you. It's embarrassing when the whole world watches you mess up and then total strangers start commenting on your YouTube videos. 
they want to know do you get to keep the extra lens I was like you could if you could see out of it but it's the prescription for your left eye that I cut for the right so because these are bulletproof lenses I'm gonna go home and shoot this lens with a 22 caliber gun I'm gonna film that with my GoPro camera and let everyone see just how bulletproof these lenses are so funny it's a blessing in disguise but this is gonna be a good example on on all that did I demonstrate how to tell if these were polarized lenses you can hold one in front of the other and lets all the light through but here that term polar opposites when you turn it at 90 degrees it goes pitch black that's how you can always tell if a lens is polarized you just need one known polarized lens and then rotate it and everything will go pitch black so the water jets are running by now you've seen enough of these videos to know we're in the final 20 seconds of the cutting cycle I doubt this is going to fit first time around. I'm going to have to back it down in size just a little bit. But that's okay. You can always cut more off of a lens. You can never add it back on. So. If I need to cut more off, I will. All right, all right. Let's take this out and see if it fits. Give me a paper towel to, whoop, 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 not that many, not that many. If look, if that's the worst thing that could happen tonight, I'll be all right, all right? I'll be all right. So, back to the handstone, back to the safety bevel, back to smoothing, ooh, that's a good one, look at that. That's just, that's better than a giblet right there. I believe that's got some neck bone still attached to it. All right, all right, scrape all that off. And I cut my fingernails yesterday and it's hard for me to scrape now. I gotta get that groove, that little V-shaped bevel worn back in the But hey, my hand still works, so look, I'm gonna collect all that schwarf off your lens. Kids, pay attention, now wipe it on the floor. All right, don't pay attention to that. So, I'm gonna hold the frame upright, tuck the lens in, I tuck them in at the outside corner and push down the nose way too large, way too large. So let me back this down some more. I forget the final size from the other night. Of course, I could go back and watch the video, but I don't have time. I need to cut about four or five more pair of glasses today. And look at all these ones I did not get done today. What a slacker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight pair waiting on me as soon as I get into work tomorrow. And I got four or five more I got to cut tonight. So Fani, again, I do appreciate your patience on this. No one is ever proud when they mess up, especially when they mess up on camera. But like I said, I never claim to walk on water. And in the big scheme of things, I guess it's not too big a deal when I was reading how the country of France bought some high-speed trains, spent $5 billion or more buying these trains, only to find out they don't fit into the tunnels they have. They're too big. Man, talk about that. But this is the worst thing I can do. I, I trust me I feel bad that you have to wait another two days for me to ship but like the, the lunar rover whatever it was with NASA someone programmed it in metric Americans were trying to drive it in American standard got that thing stuck or lost somewhere that cost billions of dollars from a simple screw-up I guess I'll be okay it's just I'm a perfectionist and I took it hard I'll be a man admit it. I took it on the chin that night Affected me the whole rest of the day yesterday. Can't let it happen tonight. Cannot let it happen. That's why I had that right lens in there so I could only trace the left lens tonight. Because you always start with the right lens. If I had traced both lenses, I would have forgotten to flip it over to the left. So back to the handstone. Back to the safety bevel. Back to scraping that off with my thumbnail. Back to wiping that on the floor, wipe your lens off, dry it off. And I will pop this in. Again, I tuck it in at the outside corner, but you'll develop your own technique. Let's just see if I push right there. Eh, it's still too big. Let me take a little bit more off. I'm going to make it easier. Make it easier for you. For everything you do for us, I'm going to make it easier for you. Take a little bit more back off. Until I get the size just right. Just right. 
All right, Fonny, what's the worst mistake you've ever made on your job? I want you to get your camera out and put it on YouTube for the whole world to see. Man, I, if I had to do it all over again, I would have joined the Air Force, I believe. No no kidding, I ain't just saying that. I got, I'm 47 years old and I got friends getting out of the military after 25 years. They're collecting a check, they're going to work for someone else for 20 years, collect a second check when they retire, then Social Security kicks in, they got three checks coming in. Man, I just don't know what I was thinking, but Air Force would be a great thing. The only problem with the Air Force, you might be stationed in the middle of BF Canada. I mean, you got bases in northern Norway. You got them, I mean, for hell, Antarctica, everywhere. That's the only problem. You can be, you know, Fort Bragg ain't nothing. Seymour Johnson down in Goldsboro, that ain't nothing. That's just an hour and a half drive from where I live in Durham, but. That's the thing about the Air Force. You got to be all over the world. Although the Marshall Islands, Midway, that might be a nice place to be stationed. Hawaii. The first doctor I used to work for was in the Navy ROTC in two weeks, not, not ROTC, what is it called, reserve. And two weeks out of the year, they would fly him to Hawaii just so he could do eye exams on other officers. And that was his gig. And he got all the benefits and stuff for doing that. Man, what an easy life that is. And years ago when I was in school, I heard the Army needed some opticians over in Kuwait for all their soldiers. They would set up these eye and dental clinics in Kuwait. So way far away from the action so cowards like me wouldn't get shot at. But I just couldn't do it. I had a dog. I didn't. I lived by myself. I didn't want to leave my dog alone. This was before I got married. So, All right, again, I'm going to tuck him into the outside corner, push down with the nose. There we go. Now we have a complete pair of glasses. I just want to test that it pops out decent enough. I'm going to take that block off. And actually, let me read the prescription while I'm over here. Make sure that it's cut right. Of course, look at those yellow lines. Can you see those yellow lines? That straight edge on there. We good to go. Let me measure the pupillary distance of 66. We are good to go there. Read the prescription that it is at 10. Oh, yeah. All right, let me test to make sure this comes out easy enough. That feels pretty good. That feels pretty good. I may touch it up on the handstone to make it easier for you. Let's see what the right feels like. Yeah, let me make this a little easier to pop in and out. Just a little bit easier. Since you got one frame and you're popping both your lenses in and out. So again, your lenses are the lightweight and unbreakable polycarb. They are bulletproof up to 22 caliber and has both UVA and UVB protection as well as being polarized, polarized gray. So 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments. Of course, the company that you work for, Fonny, and I'm not going to say what it is, but the company you work for, I believe you got some opticians there that stop by and uh, they'll get those adjusted for you. You work for a very large corporation. They got every profession under one roof. So. So, no, the reason I mentioned about getting your glasses adjusted is that 80% of people have one ear that's higher than the other. And I'm no different. When I take my glasses off, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. But I'm going to make sure yours are in standard alignment to where when I set them on the counter, there is no wobble. I'm going to put them in a three-point stance. One, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I press down. There is no wobble. Flip them over. Press down. There is no wobble. Make sure that each temple overlaps the other perfectly and there's the same amount of tension on each side of the hinge and there is. So if anyone has any questions about what I can and can't do and what I can and can't mess up, just email me at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com. Fonny, again, from the bottom of my heart, I apologize. It took me two days longer than I planned to to get these out to you, but I'll get them shipped to you right now. I'm going to stop by the post office on my way home. And... I hope you enjoyed watching me make your glasses and everyone else, you know it. You got the chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.